Hey guys, welcome back to... Mage Life. Welcome back everyone, we're back in our Thalmic lab today. If you guys enjoyed last episode and uh, the nice little update to 1.5.2, we got some new mods. Like I said, we got our, well, damage indicators mod. We had Ars Magica, also Magical Crowns, which we'll be getting into in an episode or so. Uh, we also have, well, we did have the Voxel minimap at the top right, but... I, apparently I tried installing that a couple different ways it didn't want to work for me so I went ahead and went back and reinstalled Ray's minimap. So we have Ray's minimap instead for the time being. I'm going to try and figure out what was wrong with the uh, Voxel uh, minimap. I think it was probably requiring a different version of Forge which all the mods I have installed right now are kind of finicky and they need the version that I have so <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway I went ahead and put all of our Ars Magica stuff that we got in last episode back into the chest upstairs. Also made a few minor changes into our mage tower here. Went ahead and put up some fences that look like they, uh, well, at least hold up the night tour that's in here. Also made up some more arcane levitators. So here's our second floor. Went ahead and put some torches on this guy, but that's just for lighting. I might take those off. And also added the night tour in here. Also added a upstairs and put in. Oops. Great. <laughs> Didn't want you guys to see all that, but all right. Uh, went ahead and put in our enchanting table up here. Surrounded it with the nice obsidian tiles or whatever those are called. There's like totems and tiles. I'm not sure which are which. They both look about the same to me. But you have uh, tiles and totems. So that's what's there. I'm going to try and get some more bookcases in here soon. Made up some more arcane levitators for us. And here we go. So we got our stuff all safe and sound back in here. In our Ars Magica room. I don't have to come up with a name for this room or something. Uh, now, we left off looking at that tower. There was a tower that we found on the way back. And, well, I flew, went ahead and flew back here. <laughs> and I didn't mark it. So we'll, we're going to try and go back and find that. But we're going to do that in a little bit. First off, I want to go ahead and get something else going. And that would be this guy, the Arcane Bellows, stoking the flames. The Arcane Bellows performs much the same function as its mundane counterpart. The only difference is that it happily pumps away it by itself, sending forth a stream of never-ending air. Attaching it to the Infernal Furnace, or an Infernal Furnace, has shown some interesting results. The elemental infused air not only stokes the flames increasing its smelting speed, but also causes them to burn much purer, resulting in a redu or reduction in flux generation and increasing the chance of creating bonus nuggets and other materials when smelting. Cool. They can also be attached to normal furnaces to increase their speed. Nice little bonus there. It's also pa <laughs> passable. It's also passable to attach them to crucibles to reduce the time it takes for them. Uh, for their water to boil. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, you are confident that more uses will reveal themselves eventually. Alright, so that's what we're actually going to make real quick. We're going to make some of these arcane bellows. We're going to make about three of these guys to put onto our infernal furnace. Because this guy has three inputs for those. As you can see, these little black holes on the side. And there's one on the back side as well. And that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and get started in our Thomic Lab. And then we're going to continue working on some more Ars Magica stuffs. All right, so what are we going to need for this? We're going to need some arcane wood blocks, three ear shards, three leather, and three iron. So let's go ahead and grab that. Unfortunately, my inventory tweaks is not working. I think there's something wrong with inventory tweaks and 1.5.2. You know how you can uh, you know, do that kind of thing. I think that's something to do with that. I'm not entirely sure, but the uh, scroll feature, like the scroll mouse wheel isn't like placing items in my inventory anymore like it used to so kind of unfortunate but I'm gonna live with it we're gonna push on and we're gonna continue forth so I already got a few of these I'm gonna need three ear shards what else are we gonna need I think that's just about it there we're also gonna need some aura which you can see I grabbed some feathers and some modus which I have some I should have some trap doors in here somewhere up there, there. Right, and... Okay, good. I grabbed the great wood logs already. Let's go ahead and make us up some arcane wood blocks. Should be alright for now. And, let's see. It's something like that. That. Oops. 
No. There we go. <laughs> there we go. So you see I already have some modus uh, ready to go. I already have some aura ready to go. Let's go ahead and take one out. I think that's all I have though, so I might only be able to make one. I got more aura. I just need some more modus, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's see. So there's 16. There's another 16. So let's go ahead and throw these guys in here. And take this out. So now we have two arcane bellows. Well, this is actually going a lot quicker than I thought. I'd, I'd already prepared, I guess. I'm already prepared. <laughs> Alright, and what else are we going to need? We're going to need 24 more aura. So we're going to need 24 of these. It's uh, pretty much half. Great throw, Bentley. Alright, that should be alright in there. Alright, let's go ahead and grab that. Alright, we're pretty much good to go. Let's go hook these guys up. Guys, quit dancing. <laughs> this is not the time or the place to be dancing. And why are you jumping in the cauldron? You don't do that. You scare me when you do that. <sighs> you guys. You guys are crazy. Alright, so we're just gonna right click our arcane bellows on the side. You can hear them kind of working in there. Put that one on, and then we're going to go outside and put that one on as well. It's going to be in the center, basically eye level with us. So let's go ahead and do that. Sun's going down. So it should be right here. And we're going to put it right there. Easy as pie. Uh, you guys are also going to notice something. I went ahead and uh, renamed my dragon. Hopefully you guys like the name this time. Well... Last time, like I said, it was just a temporary name. This could still be changeable by now, but I kind of like this name. I think you guys might as well. <laughs> Dark Charizard. That's right. That is my dragon's name for now. <laughs> dark Charizard. Well, he's dark, and he well, he kind of resembles... A, you know, Charizard's always kind of resembled a dragon. So, yeah, I'm going to go with that. Dark Charizard. I like it. <laughs> All right, so we got this guy... All right, seriously? Sometimes my uh, sword gets a little stuck. All right, let's go ahead and look in here. Do I have any... I got some iron ore in here. I know I have some downstairs in our cave, so I'm going to run down and go grab some of that. Let's put that back. Let's put that and that back. I always like to keep a bone on me for my dragon. As you can see, I also have some weak magical essence. That's a part of, I believe, the uh, magical crops mod, which we'll, like I said, we'll be getting into pretty soon, just, we gotta get some more of that stuff built up, I believe, and I, I think I wanna get some, uh, what do you call those, uh, some seeds, I think there's some special seeds we can get, I went ahead and did a little landscaping down here, guys, uh, just to make a little bit of room for our magical crops once we start making them down here, I'm gonna probably put them in this area right in here, and we'll have ourselves a nice little lake to grow our reeds in, over here. And we'll continue to have our cows because, well, I'm always probably going to need leather <laughs> and some meat. So, it's good to have those. And I've been killing mobs and pretty much, well, gathering some quartz in the nether. That's why I have 29 levels as well. So, we're going to be converting those into, um, well, ours magical levels here shortly. So, what am I in here for? All right. Iron, native iron ore clusters, native gold clusters. We're going to take some of this iron ore, some of this gold ore. See if we can't uh, convert these into the ore clusters. That's going to double our ore output. Let's see if we can't get anything out of this. Come on, give me some more native ore clusters. We also have some downstairs with our arcane boar, which I have had going recently. It's been, seems like the performance has been doing a little bit better uh, since the update. So that's good. Still not like, you know, super amazing, but, you know, like I said, it's it's doing a lot better well, than it was. <laughs> At least I was able to do stuff, more or less. I wasn't able to just sit there and just have to wait on it to well, finish its thing, so. Oh, look at that. We got one more to go. Come on. Be a good iron ore and turn into a native. There we go. Native iron ore cluster. So that's going to produce double output for us. It's going to do the same thing with gold. We're definitely going to want to do it with gold. 
because we can duplicate this or not duplicate this but uh convert all this into iron or diamonds if we need it so definitely good to do this with the gold all right so there we go let's go throw these guys into our new or not our new but <laughs> our improved arcane furnace i love that you can kind of hear it going in there with all them bellows. Let's jump up here real quick and let's go ahead and throw in the, the gold first. We'll watch that work. Let's see what this does. Ooh, you can see I see the experience coming out. I do know I need to make the brain in the jar so I can put it next to it so I can have experience. I'd probably make two to put one on each side. So there we go, it doubled the output. We have 16 gold ingots and also gave us some gold nuggets. That's awesome. So as you can note, we have uh, also 36 iron ingots in there and four iron nuggets and three beef nuggets from me cooking steak in there. So let's go ahead and put these in there. Just kind of watch how fast this works. It works pretty quick, you know, considering. You know, I, I think that's pretty quick. That's. Almost, I would like to say, equivalent to a electric furnace with maybe a couple overclockers in industrial craft from the industrial craft mod, right? Wouldn't you say? Maybe two overclockers. That's pretty quick. I gotta say, that's pretty pretty quick. You can see all the iron nuggets it's producing. It's producing, you know, one to two or more per iron ore cluster, which is kind of nice because I can actually. Uh, make you know basically iron ingots out of this through their cauldron or a crafting table. So there we go. That is the purpose of our infernal furnace, and I like it. It doesn't really generate that much flux, and the arcane bellows actually help with that. I think a little bit. It's really nice. Works out very very well. All right, let's go ahead and head upstairs. Oop 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 oop. Going up too much. <laughs> That's why I wanted the. The arcane ear to do its job, but you know what? I think I'll let it with it. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of these things. The affinity tome for fire. Uh oh, what'd that do? What's going on? I see something at the bottom left of my screen. I think those are fire tomes. Does it? No, oh, I, maybe I should have read on this first. I think I know what it does. I think it increases the power of my fire moves. Holy crap. Don't do that, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that, don't do that. Uh-oh. I want to go up. All right, let's go up real quick. As you see, I'm, we're getting close to being almost done with our mage tower here. we got about another floor left to go, which we might make into our magical crops area. Not like planting and harvesting up here, but we might leave some stuff up in here. And then I think the top floor we might make into our, like, you know, more or less like a bedroom or something, make... A nice little top area, maybe expand it out a little bit and have this our balcony with our dragon on top. I think that might be kind of neat. So let's see uh, what we can't do here. We got an angry zombie dead ahead. Let's see what this can do. Well, that sure took a while to get him, but there you go. Eat my magicka. Yeah, he's on fire now. Yeah, he's cooking. He doesn't even know what's going on. He's like, I have no idea what happened to me. Ooh, that be one of them zombie farmers that I, I believe is from the magical crops mod. I'm gonna try and get up there real quick before he despawns. Hit him with my looting sword. Come here, friendo. Ah, you can see? Weak magic essence, and you're just a really mad guy. I'm not too happy with you. You can't hurt me. Now with my impenetrable fields, your iron, your iron arrows or regular arrows have no effect on me. Of course, iron arrows might be kind of cool too. You cannot touch me. Ooh, oh, maybe you can. I let my, let, let my guard down. Let my guard down. I'll take you both out. Yeah. Just like that. Just like that. And I have no idea what you are. A mana elemental. Okay, I'm going to hit you with fire then. You want to duel? Let's duel. Oh, crap. He took all my mana. No, give me my mana back. Oh, fine. All right, let's go ahead and head back to the mage tower. We're going to head over to the Ars Magica level. We're going to convert our Minecraft XP. Ooh, one of those mana creepers. Uh, let's uh, bring out this. 
take care of you right now. Yeah. So let's go ahead and convert our Minecraft levels into Ars Magica levels real quick. You know what I might do? Hmm. I feel like I should have something underneath these that'll make it look like they're at least ported. You think maybe some tiles, things how we have... You know what? We might actually just go ahead and do that anyway real quick. I might go ahead and outline this real quick. I mean, I got them all outlined up there. Might as well outline this one too, right? I like it. I like it. I like the magical power of building. It's awesome. It's great. Right, let's go ahead and uh, we'll just do this. Yeah, that actually looks pretty good. I like that. Yeah, we'll go with that. Sweet. All right, let's go ahead and open back our bag here. Let's put that back in there. Go ahead and put that in there for now. Put all this other stuff away in a minute. Oh, oh, there we go. All right, so let's go ahead and convert our levels. So we're going to need four levels to go up to, I guess, level five. Bam. And basically, we're just going to go ahead and do it all that we can. So now we're at level nine. Next level is ten, and we need nine Minecraft levels for that. So let's see. We have 513 mana. Not too bad. Not too shabby. And we have some new stuff to learn, some new recipes. We have Recall, Water Shield, Invisibility, and Accelerate. I wonder what Accelerate does. That might be kind of cool. Telekinesis. And I'm going to look into this, this uh, Spell Staff of Divine Intervention. I need to check up on that a little bit later. And Recall and Mark. Let's go ahead and do Accelerate and Telekinesis real quick. Now, it might be kind of hard for me to see what this, well, needs, but do I just, like, where do I put this? Do I do I right-click on it or something? Like, you have learned the recipe for Accelerate. You have learned the recipe for Telekinesis. All right. Sense Energy, Firebolt, Dig, and Accelerate. So, Accelerate, I need, it looks like I just need a blank rune. That looks like yellow, white, uh purple, red, and blue. I know it's kind of hard to see, guys, and I apologize for that. Like I said, I think it's a texture pack issue. It's something I don't think I can actually take care of. If I could, I would. And then Telekinesis looks like it needs a regular rune. This looks like a purple rune. That looks like yellow, purple, and then red. There it is. Yeah, so I got it right. Nice. Telekinesis. Pull in nearby items. Mana cost, 2.5. Affinity, arcane. So there we go. We have the... Oh, look at that. I wonder if that works with my... I guess not. Let's go ahead and uh, throw down a torch over there. And we're going to do it... Oh! Oh, that is cool. That is cool. <laughs> that is pretty sweet. I like my new abilities. My new mage abilities. They're awesome. All right, so let's try Accelerate. I don't know if I have everything. Let's see. I need blue, red. I think I need another purple. Yeah, I think I'm going to need another purple. So let's uh, open up our bag. I think I got some rose red right here. Let's go ahead and convert, uh, you know, like eight of these or something. Get our medium stone out. It's green. Purple. There we go. We'll make up two of these purple ones. And we want accelerate. So we need purple, I believe. A regular one. It looks like a white one. And then a yellow one. Alright, so I might have something wrong here. It's kind of hard to tell. I'd have to switch uh, texture packs real quick to see... Pretty sure that's yellow. This one might be like black or gray or something. So let's go ahead and uh, switch through some of this dye real quick. 
We'll do a couple light grays. We'll do a couple gray. There's pink. Don't really want pink. I think there's a black. Is there a black? I know there's an ink sack, but I mean like a black rune. I want to try that. Yeah, we'll try that one. Okay, that one doesn't make anything. Was light gray. Okay, that one doesn't make anything. All right, so let's go ahead and try the black in here. So we'll do accelerate. Let's do black and then purple. Ah, there we go. So it was a blank one. Okay. So accelerate. Create a pocket of accelerated time around you. Whoa. Infinity none. This might be... Whoa. All right. Let's come up here and let's see, uh, see what this does. I have a feeling I know what this is going to do. I think it's going to speed up the time of the sun. Whoa. I really drained my mana pretty quick, but it didn't change the time of the day. I thought it would. I bet what this is, create a pocket of accelerated time around you. I bet I know what this does. I bet I know what this does. I bet like if I was smelting something, I bet it would make it smelt faster. I'll bet you a dollar. All right, let's come in here. We're gonna uh, open up our chest. Uh, there's got to be something in here we can cook up real quick. I don't know if it's gonna if it would work on my infernal furnace, but we'll try. We'll find something. I think we can go ahead and try some of the uh, some oak wood, or some yeah, I'll just use some oak wood. Now we'll get a quick idea about how fast this is gonna go with just uh, default wood real quick. So that's going to make up some charcoal. Now let's speed up time a little bit. Oh, I guess I can't really speed up too much more time. I'm out of magic. <laughs> well, I still have some kind of fiery tome at the bottom left hand of my screen. I let's uh let's go ahead and switch over to just default real quick, and we're going to kind of get an idea of what that looks like down there. Alright, so there's some kind of tome down there at the bottom left hand of my screen. Not sure what that is. But that book we read, I think, has something to do with it. I think it might power maybe our fire moves. Maybe, possibly. Alright, let's go ahead and go back. As you can see, my uh, backpack mod didn't lose its texture. That's because, well, the textures I had to integrate into the mod itself. The smax textures for it i had to integrate into the mod because it wasn't taking any other way so every other way to try to install it didn't want to work so i had to integrate it oops into the mod you guys saw my statistics all right so we got some new spells let's go ahead and head up here we're gonna put some of this stuff away and i'm gonna upgrade this chest more than likely after this episode we have some more room in here we're running a little low on room and we're going to go out and we're going to check out some of those other Ars Magica buildings. And maybe see if we can't fly around and find some new stuff. Alright, let's go ahead and take an adventure. Now, first things first. We're going to make a waypoint. We're going to call this uh, Mage Tower. Blue. Perfect. Like it. Alright, Dark Charizard. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Head on out, my friend. Um, let's go back and explore that tower we found. Shouldn't be too far away. Shouldn't be far away at all, really. Now, I kind of went inside, but I didn't really snoop too much. I just wanted to see how to actually get in there, more or less. And uh, it took me a minute to find out, but legitimately... You just need to uh, climb the side of the wall, apparently, or something of the sort, so... See, I don't think all this stuff was too far out. I think it was just a uh, little ways. My dark Charizard knows fly. <laughs> Sorry, I had to go there. I had to go there. Oh, I need to grab all that stuff, too. My stuff, I mean the, the totems and the... Uh, yeah, there's an aura node. Hey, grab the totems and the uh, tiles. 
Did I go too far? Did I pass it? Oh, I don't think I did. Oh, there it is. Going down. Here's another tower where we left off from last episode. I figured we'd go ahead and uh, take a look this episode. All right, Charizard, you, you go ahead and... Oh, good, you're already sitting. Good boy. Good boy. All right, well, here we go. So you can see I was checking. Yes, it does have that force field thing. Now, I, I guess to legitimately get in here, I don't know if the buttons work, but I saw this ladder over here, and then I was like, all right, well, would I go from here? And then you can kind of see the, the force field emitter thing in there, whatever you call that. And I saw this. I was like, yep, yeah, that's how you get in. These two pieces of glass were already broken, of course, because, you know, I can't break it. <laughs> But uh, that is what we got to destroy. There we go. We're pretty much good to go now. now. I really don't honestly remember what all was in here. If there's anything up here. Uh, parching wind. Fire essence. Plant essence. All right. Actually, I'm going to take the chest too. <laughs> That's right. I don't really need the glowstone. I got plenty of glowstone. Thanks, though. And then there's a whole bunch of pressure plates and of these, uh, well, trap doors that lead down in these little rooms, more or less. And then there's these fire, oh, 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 I didn't even notice that. I'll take you and you, <laughs> why not? And then, well, that's interesting. Kind of like the redstone lamps. I don't, you know what? I'm going to leave it, you know? I'm really not that picky. Alright, I guess there's nothing in here. I'm just kind of snooping around here real quick. Oh, whoa, what's this? Is there no way of collecting these? Cause that looks kind of cool. I kind of want that. No. Oh. What is this thing? I don't think I can remove it. It looks like it's bedrock, almost like a piece of bedrock. Ooh, careful there, Bentley. Oh crap! There we go. I got it. <laughs> uh, what does this say? A lectern. All right. I don't know if I'm supposed to have this or not. <laughs> oh. Did that, did that hurt me? Oh, that one hurt me. What? That really? These things are not that powerful. Or maybe I'm just that powerful. <laughs> and then a big giant room of books and bookcases. Guess I'll go ahead and take all these. I, I I'll be a little greedy. We'll be, a, we'll be a little greedy. I don't think it would hurt a little bit. Just to be, you know, a little bit greedy. A few books uh, would be nice for our book. You know, our book room or our library or, well, more or less our enchanting room. So, we got that place all raided. Let's go ahead and jump out of here. All right, Charizard, we got this place done and taken care of. Let's go ahead and head on home. I don't really know if there's any other places like that around. You know what? Uh, seeing as how we have our marker up, let's go ahead and see if we can't find maybe one more place that has maybe generated. Ooh, look, some new biome stuff. Ooh, silverwood tree. That is a big mountain. And big mountains have me wondering about those. Ooh. Exactly. That's what I was wondering about. The Thumbcraft. Uh, Bane of Arthropods. Not a big fan of. I'll take the everything else. Oh, well, not everything, but just the iron. Don't really want to get too greedy, I guess. Nothing amazing in there. Yeah, go ahead and hit me. I dare you. That's what you get. That's what you get. Charizard's always going to beat the cramp out of you. And yes, guys, I did see it over here, so <laughs> calm down. I saw it. This is some kind of, I don't know. There's like a tree in the middle of it. Oh, hey, buddy. Dare you to hit me. Oh, you just messed up, my friend. 
That's oh, right. You messed up. Oh, good lord. Never mind. I take that back. Hmm. Well, not too worried about it. All right, let's uh, take a look at these things. Blue orchids, huh? These look kind of cool. Oh, and they even have a light effect around them. That's pretty neat. So in the middle of this is some kind of tree. Oh. Oh. A chest. Greater focus. Lighting essence. Arcane ash. Vortex. And Silver's Diary Volume 3. Uh-oh, it's protected in here. Hmm. Interesting. So if it's protected, I wonder what's what it's protecting. It's because it's not protecting the, the leaves, that's for sure. You shush. Let's get under one of excavation. Let's kind of go around here and kind of see what we can't find. There might be something else here somewhere. And we might actually have it all, you never know. But we're gonna make sure real quick. Where is that thing? Jeez. We almost have this entire tree cut down already. Great wood tree. Ooh, an apple. Oh, look, another chest. Wow. There sure is, um... Where is this darn thing? Wow, this thing is hiding really well. Well, thankfully for our wand of excavation, it's gonna make things a little bit quicker. Of course, at least, I like to think. And we got some apples, some random loot it looks like. And we're almost out of room for stuff. Let's go ahead and throw rotten flesh on the ground. Don't need any rotten flesh. Don't need any sand. Let's go ahead and pick up some apples. Okay. Uh, regeneration and plant essence. I'll take that. I guess I really don't need a cauldron. I'll take the uh, regeneration smell and creation of the mirrors volume 5 by the fallen apprentice. Yeah, no, you're not. You're not that good. <laughs> Creepers aren't that good. Okay, you're not. You're not that amazing. I'll take that. Um. All right. So let's go ahead and keep trying to find this thing. You know, I have a feeling it's somewhere around here. I just don't think it's in these leaves anymore. Now, I pretty much cleared them all out. The leaves are all pretty much bye bye. I would have. Been able to see that by now. Oh, hello. How do I get under you? Dragon head. Charizard, how'd you do that? You're clever. You're clever. Right. How do I do this? How do I get in there? So there's a ladder. Come on, buddy. Seriously. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> so how am I supposed to get in there? I mean, I see a ladder. I just don't understand how to break this stuff. Maybe there's some type of special magical something or another that does that? Maybe there's a special wand or something that'll do it? Not sure. I'll have to read up on it. Or maybe you guys know and you guys can let me know. I'll be putting it in the comment section down below. When you guys tell me, I will definitely come back here and take a look at this because it's not really that far and too hard to find. So I'm going to go ahead and head on back. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to probably try and pick up these silverwood trees and see if I can't get ourselves some saplings from them. So I'm going to try and be planting some more around the, uh, the mage tower. 
That way we have some more to aura, power, magical aura stuff, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys would rate the video, I'd greatly appreciate it. And until next time, we'll see you guys then. A goodbye.